Hey, back to basic weight loss surgery channel peeps. It's Dana and Ms. Dana Driss. This is supposed to be a Saturday vlog, and it is Saturday, July 17th in Arizona, which means, and it's late, after 10.30, which means it is already Sunday on the East Coast. So I'm sorry I didn't post this earlier. Um, I had good intentions. I have been at the... Uh, Obesity Action Coalition's uh, Your Weight Matters conference um, that was here in Phoenix. And uh, terrific, terrific three-day event. Um, I was able to go Thursday, not yesterday, and today. And um, my intent was to film little snippets today, off and on during the day, and maybe get some feedback from people. And honestly, it was such a jam-packed day of, of learning for me um, that I didn't take time to make any videos um, because it just would have, was dis would have distracted from the meat of the messages that I got. So, um, but I thought I'd share a couple things with you. Uh, first of all, if you haven't heard about the Obesity Action Coalition, I encourage you to check it out. Um, it is a nonprofit, and um, I'll read this to you. A nonprofit organization whose sole focus is representing individuals affected by the disease of obesity. And um, it's about close to 50,000 members around the country. And they do um, advocacy on the state, federal level, um, to, pr and, uh, to produce objective educational information. And um, they have uh, the, a board that's made up of a, a lot of um, medical professionals as well as um, social work folks, nurses. Um, they, I guess, have a staff in Florida. I was not that familiar with the organization until I signed up for this conference some months ago. Um, what I can say is I was totally, totally impressed by the quality of this event. So I went on Thursday. Um, they had a free advocacy training session um, that lasted all afternoon Thursday. And basically they're teaching us, uh, teaching attendees, you know, how to go in and, um, you know, talk to elective representatives um, about making changes on the way that folks with obesity are treated. And um, there was kind of an overview of kind of the legal process and then, you know, how you can affect the, you know, that, that um, input and process. And then we had the ability to do some kind of role play um, work where we went around in little teams and talked about, um, you know, how we, well, there's actually a bill called the Treat and Reduce Obesity Act that is in Congress um, right now. We're going to be in Congress, and I guess it already is. Um, that's going to affect um, some changes for our Medicare patients. And so we practiced with that bill. It was a great uh, session, I thought. Um, one that I can use professionally for my work, even though I don't really directly do, you know, advocacy work. But also, you know, for the larger kind of good, um, you know, hopefully um, someday um, to be even more active in the community. So I can directly apply it to this cause about, uh, you know, obesity, but um, there are other causes that I can affect it too. So definitely I was able to leverage that, uh, I will be able to leverage that. Thursday night was kind of an opening mixer, and then they had presentation. Um, it was a panel discussion. It was terrific. Primarily, <laughs> the reason that made it most terrific was there were two former NFL football players that attended. Um, let's see, Corey L Lachey, L Lachey, I don't remember how to say his name, James Thornton. I'm not a football fan, so I did not know either of these two gentlemen, but their stories were fantastic. Um, you know, 
kind of they talked about what it had been like and how they dealt with food, you know, when they were young and also in their NFL playing days. And then, you know, when they stopped playing football, they kept eating that way and really um, it became a major problem for both of them. And uh, Corey chose to do some things about his weight um, through becoming a vegan and exercise. And James had a vertical sleeve gastrectomy, and they are both huge men still. I mean, they're tall. I mean, you know, head above me. Um, but they look terrific, and they were very, very personable. I had an opportunity to chat with James before the presentation. He was really just fun and very motivational and upbeat and just really jazzed me about, you know, you can do this and um, the importance of, of many, you know, being true to yourself, the importance of taking care of yourself, the importance of having a mind, a right mindset and it was really terrific. And then I didn't get to go to yesterday's sessions. I am going to go back. I think they live streamed. Well, I know that they live streamed one or two sec sessions. And I believe they're taped and on their YouTube channel. So check out Obesity Action Coalition on the YouTube channel. I'm going to go back and watch those sessions from Friday. This morning, I did go in and... Um, uh, was attended um, all day and, and like I said back to back all day and then exhibits and and it was really good so the first session was on understanding and managing food addiction this is one that they did live stream and I think it's taped and on their um, YouTube channel so I will encourage you to go watch that whole thing um, but the really um, interesting uh, parts of that research around food addiction and um, you know, really showing the biochemical um, reaction that happens with food is same like drugs in many, many ways and um, was really interesting. And then um, the next session was about everyday routine matters and sleep and stress and other factors and um, some really interesting topics you know, research-based information again about how things like sleep can affect your um, weight loss journey and your weight. Okay, so I need to get at least seven hours of sleep. I've convinced myself as it's 10.30 at night and I'm still not in bed, but really startling kind of where information where it was like, wow, okay, I can see in proof, scientific studies, that um, this makes a difference for me. And, and you know, kind of, I need to commit to doing um, some things about getting enough sleep and, you know, managing my stress. And there were some great tips in there. Um, I'll try to share some more specific stuff later on. Then there was um, a session on uh, weighing success beyond the scale. Power, empowering really again and this is one I believe is on the YouTube channel really all about you know we should not just count the weight number on the scale as, that's, as our success and again just kind of thinking differently about how we approach this and um, some great nuggets in there and then um, there was a luncheon, and you could you had to I think you had to pay a little extra for that. But I sat at a table about superfoods, and so we had a great discussion about um, you know some things that I knew and some things that I didn't. Um, I had heard of all the foods, but I didn't really understand why they were considered a superfood, um, and um, that was fun. Then there was a session on um, using personality traits to kind of figure out your patterns of eating and exercise and coping behaviors and strategies you can employ for that. And there actually is a website apparently that you can go out and take this quiz. It's called retrofitme.com or, or search Google retrofitquiz.com, retrofitmequiz.com and you can take the quiz and then based on kind of the pattern of behavior, it give, I think then there are strategies. I know that there are strategies. I don't know what the website gives you. I plan on checking out the website. It was great. 
Um, and then um, Science of Willpower uh, was another session of breakout that I went to. You know, prominent doctor who's really talking about um, what the research has shown about willpower. And I left there thinking, you know, all those times that I beat myself up because I didn't have enough willpower to turn away from the piece of chocolate cake? You know, willpower is a depletable resource and it's limited and the same stuff that helps me problem solve and the same stuff that helps me do other higher brain functioning is the same stuff that gives willpower and I can't do it all at once. So when I'm stressed at work and I'm trying to problem solve and figure it all out, guess what? My willpower gets depleted. He also talked about some strategies for increasing your willpower and I will share those with you at some point. And then I went to a terrific um, overview session about plastic surgery in general. Again, I learned a lot. Tonight was awards. That's way more than uh, I filled my brain in a day. So um, I encourage you to go and check out their YouTube channel. Watch those videos. I will promise you that I will film some additional stuff about some specific things I wrote down and, and caught on some of these sessions. And I am marking my calendar for September of next year um, for their conference in Orlando, Florida. And if I can go, I will go to this. It is a, was a superb educational conference. I did have a great opportunity to meet some people that are active already that I kind of knew around. And then, hi Linda Lombardo, if you're watching this, and um, Eggface was there, and Bariatric Foodie Nikki was there, and um, you know, some other folks, um, Sandy um, was there, and um, you know, it was great to connect with those, but I got to connect with a whole bunch of new folks from around the country and some here locally in Phoenix, and we're planning some more support group. If I can swing going to Florida next year for this conference, I will do it. Um, it's not, you know, they had some social stuff, a uh, social activity and, and stuff last night, but this is about learning, and um, it was fantastic. So... I'm at 12 and a half minutes, and really all I did was give you a recap of my day. I hope it's, uh, you know, I, I didn't share any great wisdom with you, except I will tell you this. There are lots of ways to discover new information from your journey. Some of this I'd heard before, and I remember it, but I heard it in a different way, based on my, I'm a different in a different place in my journey. So, um, you know, I pulled out nuggets that I'm going to be kind of rethinking some stuff for myself to help me continue on this next journey of discovery. Um, and uh, that is really, really valuable. Really, really valuable. And don't forget that, it, you know, sometimes we need to feed our brain power um, to kind of get us rethinking. So that's it. And um, I hope you have a terrific Sunday, if it's Sunday. I know a lot of the folks are in um, AC at the WLSFA East Coast Meet and Greet. I'm sure they're having a fantastic time. And um, I wish we could all just be together in one place and learn from each other and have fun with, the, have fun with each other. You can tell it's late. I'm stumbling my words. But that's it. Love you. Bye-bye.